Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my room makeover. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to do a little short intro to this video, but in case I can't, this is my room. <laughs> um, I currently rent a attic space in a um, three bed house. Um, this room gets really hot in the summertime um, and I'll be here for a few more months and I'm kind of in gazelle saving mode. So that was how it was. This is how it's going. <laughs> um, obviously, it was really messy at the start. It's not normally that messy, um, but I'd come back from my boyfriend's, tidied everything away and then it was just super duper messy again. Um, so what I thought I would do is show you quite a few things I have. Uh, normally in the Ottomans I store kind of different seasonal stuff and then when it's a new season I will take some things out so um, and just to just to kind of swap around the decor um, but I basically woke up the other day with like a massive urge to just rearrange my whole room <laughs> which if you have ADHD is probably not a new thing to you. Um, these are amazing by the way these command strips are on those they're on those uh, frames um, they're just great I kept the packaging to remind myself <laughs> of what they were for when I move um, but yeah I, I'm on like full-on gazelle mode I am really just saving money to move in with my partner hopefully around October time this year. It's currently June. And so I just thought I would do basically a zero pound, zero dollar bedroom makeover. Um, I also found these nails. <laughs> I put in my summer box and these sweets. My work bestie got me these sweets. Um, so I need to try them actually. I tried a few. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is me unpacking like kind of summer themed stuff. So basically I kind of themed, I know I'm a bit weird, but I just theme it all. Um, oh, this is me like naked ladies. Um, <laughs> I theme it all. And then there's also a few products like, uh, this one, obviously it's got SPF in it, which I know we should wear all year round, but, um, you know, I just, when I got it, I was like, oh, I'll pop it in the summer box because I have some moisturizer that I'm using up. Rogue hanger. Um, some frames from the charity shop. Um, but this is all stuff that I have and that I am just going to kind of get a bit creative with. Um, obviously, this room is used for quite a few things. It's also used as like quite a bit of chill downtime. We do have lounge and I have access to the lounge, but um, I just kind of like to be in my room a lot really um so I've kind of made it like a living room slash bedroom slash I also work from home um so there is a lot going on in this room um here's me just changing <laughs> changing some gush and covers um there is a lot going on in this room and <laughs> you'll have to forgive me for the like a the uh the kind of the wall the wall frame uh I guess it's quite a millennial isn't it montage and also like the vine leave light situation I have going on um these will all be coming down in like two months time but they've been fun they've been fun to just kind of have and to be honest with you the vine leaves do kind of make the room a bit a bit smaller so that was probably wouldn't do that again <laughs> but it was fun I had this idea to do it like ages ago when I moved in and I was like oh and I did it and it took me so long and then I was like hmm I don't I don't I do like it but I don't love it but anyway, um, I like it as a little backdrop and it does make me feel super snuggly when I'm in bed. It's just so nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm just giggling, just watching some TV here, but I'm just changing my sheets with my, with my teddies in the background, not my sheets, my cushion covers. But yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm basically in like a super saving mode and I just wanted to kind of refresh my space. Um, there, as I say, there is a lot going on in this room. So I know that, um, I know that <laughs> basically um I I effectively have like I'm 34 so I effectively have like kind of a house worth of stuff like an apartment's worth of stuff all in one room um and I'm grateful because it's a it's a really big room and I can do lots of you know lots lots with it um but I am very much like you know ready to kind of move out and um in an in a normal house even in like a one bed house I would have like space in the bathroom for example there's just not um, a lot of space in our in the bathroom and it is a shared bathroom so I just try to be conscious in the shared spaces that I'm not like leaving my stuff everywhere so I know I know that it's a full room but I also know that there's other people in this position like it's not just me that's like in a smaller space and I to be honest with you I've 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 culled a lot of stuff I've decluttered a lot of stuff but I'm kind of at the point now where I'm like I don't really want to get rid of a much more stuff probably some clothes I could get rid of but all the other stuff to be honest with you I, I use a lot of this I enjoy the books I um 
enjoy you know the frames and the cushion covers and things like that like I I really do enjoy and use a lot of what I have and I'm also just trying to be very appreciative of what I have rather than shopping again and I often find that if you like me have you know kind of struggled in the past with just just shopping emotional shopping I like putting stuff in the ottomans because when it comes to like a new season like in some of the like one of the ottomans I have some really cute like halloweeny uh cushion covers like for example and I have some like other flowers for my vase and things like that and I just find that it's like shopping it's kind of like shopping but it's my own stuff because I've bought it already and there's kind of a joy that I get out of re-remembering that I have this thing because it really is for me you know out of sight out of mind So it just saves me money and also it just means I'm like reusing things and I'm not just buying stuff for the sake of it and I'm not just getting rid of it for the sake of it because I do think with a lot of like declutter videos like yeah you declutter but then when I move out in in October time like I'm there's going to be stuff that I kind of need to buy like I have you know a couple of lamps for example and those are great to have and I like I love lamp light rather than like harsh lighting and I will also reuse you know reuse those things in other rooms you know I'd have like one in my bedroom and then one in the living room and things like that so I'm at a point really where I'm kind of in the phase of my life of sort of collecting and gathering things rather than like culling things and I think there's always things that we can be getting rid of and I think it's really good to just look at our space and you know decide what is and isn't needed um but I also think that sometimes with some of these videos when they just kind of get rid of everything and I think well yeah unless you've really thought about it and you're you're a fairly stable part in your life then actually you might find that like you know within the next year you're actually rebuying a lot of those things so that's just some thoughts that I have um we will be moving most likely into like an unfurnished place so the ottomans are also great to just to kind of sit on <laughs> um and they also all fold down so um and I got them because of the awkward height of this room and they all go along that back wall like where that back wall is and obviously I'm sat down it's a very low ceiling um because it's a converted attic and this side of the room is a lot lower than the other side of the room um these slippers are a bit gross on the bottom so I will <laughs> I will give them a wash um but yeah I'm just um I'm packing some things that I you know I kind of was like okay summer I want to go with like ooh, hiccup sorry I've got to go with like a green and pink vibe um and then yeah you know and I and again I don't want to be I saw some really cute um cushion covers in B&M the other day and they were just beautiful light shade of green um and they were six pounds for two and I have like two pink cushion covers and I have some beautiful floral ones which I was going to put away but I don't know I'm I'm thinking I'm going to keep them out and you know I was like I could get these cushion covers but is six pounds that I don't really want to be spending right now because I am in savings mode and I'm also I'm getting out of my overdraft and I'm so close to being out of that overdraft and the idea is to have the bulk of it probably not quite all of it but the bulk of it to be off um out of it before I move house so that really is my goal and I kind of have to just remind myself of that when I'm kind of tempted to spend money on things and and you know also sometimes like you spend the money on the thing and then the dopamine hits there and then kind of it, it's gone so I think again it's learning to appreciate and reappreciate what we already have um so yeah so I thought <laughs> so many like naked women candles and vases Okay, so I thought I'd start with these frames. Um, I use some pink flamingo wallpaper <laughs> and a tag and a picture of me and boyfriend. Um, I love these. They're all um, stuck on with these like command strips, so they kind of Velcro on and off. Um, and I did that just to kind of keep with the pink and green theme. Also, I don't mind my little <laughs> my reward chart. Um, I've got my lamp that I've moved here. It's got kind of an awkward lead around the back that needs to be plugged in still, but that's okay. Um, this area, this is like a little projector that has actually got a photo, but it's um, <laughs> his boyfriend sleeping. So I was like, I probably shouldn't film that. Um, he doesn't know I've taken it. So <laughs> he's going to come around later and be like, what the heck? Yeah, a little creep. Um, these have all got like fairy lights on them. I would do like a night version, but I just don't have space on my phone. But you've seen it in other videos. Um, this is a little pile for scrapbooking. Um, this is, I'm not sure yet 
I'm not sure. Um, this is like kind of bedtimey slash morning stuff. I don't know if I'm going to put it in this little cute bag. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. This is like an action pile for literally today. And this is a cute candle that I love. And this is the remote control for these lights. And I, again, I haven't quite decided. So um, I've put some blankies in there all rolled up. And there's a couple of bits of boyfriends in that basket. Ignore this as well. This is some nails. Obviously, I'm going to be doing my nails later. So I just uh, organise them. Um... This is like a little nail hack that I have, which I'll, I'll share with you in another video. Um, I have this cute little tray. Maybe that could be, you know, I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I've got my book that I've been reading. <laughs> I got from Tesco the other day. Um, some of these uh, Oracle cards. And then I've got the remote for the TV, which is over here. Um, yeah, I've put all my Ottomans bar these bad boys there. This isn't normally here, I've just been vlogging today and I'm not sure about this setup yet. If anyone's got any better ideas, I'm all for it. I was having the Ottomans here, um, like one and then two like that, but obviously the bed doesn't fit that way and it'd be nice for boyfriend not to hit his head when we're sat watching a bit of TV in the evening um, when he's round. And this, I don't know, I have, I have another of the baskets down here. Not sure if I'm going to swap it out yet. I don't know. I could swap it out with that one, but then it was like box, 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 box. Underneath that blanket is another box <laughs> with some books in it. I'm using it as a side table because obviously it's a really low ceiling. Don't judge me for not having a um, bed frame. I just can't fit one in this room. Love this blanket. Got it at Christmas. I uh, knew I want to use it in the summertime, so I hadn't opened it yet. So this is, I opened it, washed it, and here it is. I love all the leaves. Um, I think this just works here for now. Um, and then, yeah, I did like a little setup. So I've got a couple of board games, a cute thing that boyfriend gave me. Um, I've got my flowers here. I love doing my little flower. I've got so many flowers in this box, like just fake flowers for different seasons. Um, some photos and yeah, that's a cute like light thingy. <laughs> A light thingy bolster some beanie babies in there is one of these but in in blue it's boyfriends and it's um it's just a bit chunky so i might put it downstairs in the bathroom if it fits but because then i can maybe do i don't know you know i don't know <laughs> i've got some books behind here flowers another like naked woman shape because i'm obviously obsessed with naked women um and then i've got some more ivy leaves yeah i've got more of these um that i might like intertwine around that's a that's a little that's a money pot um around here um and i also got some fairy lights yesterday from my dad so i don't know but i I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, these, but that's my period box. There's a picnic blanket behind that. Again, it's got flamingos. So I was like, oh, I could maybe put that on here because I seem to have ended up with quite a few flamingo-y things. Um, <laughs> so I don't know yet. Under here, we just, again, this is a sentimental box and this is some grenade bars. This is the only box I really need to sort out still. It's kind of got like travel size stuff and just sort of like some makeup bags and stuff, but like empty, but I don't know. I need to just figure out space wise. Obviously desk set up. This, um, I don't love this. This, I absolutely adore this. I got this from um, Burma, from Mi Myanmar. And I, you just roll it up and put it in your bag. One day I will find a frame that's big enough. I've looked so, so many times. I don't love the background, but it does get really bright. There's a port hole, like there's a round window behind it. So in the mornings, it's all blackout apart from the, here. So um, yeah, the background, I don't know. To be honest, the paper was just up and I did have like other things to tack to it, like a notice board, um, but I just love this picture. So this looks really, really nice on just the white background. But again, I haven't quite, I don't know, I haven't quite decided on that yet. This is looking so much clearer. Oh, hello. Um, this is looking so much clearer now. Um, I've just been putting like the oils nearby the thing I'm actually using. And I've got this little lamp here. This bit is not too bad. I mean, I've done what I can. It's got like a Christmas tree, a puzzle and a backpack. And then obviously there's a suitcase with like bulky winter stuff in it this is all either vintage or charity um which i will be actioning this week maybe even today then i've got um various games i've got this is not this is a yoga mat but it's actually got loads of hair dye in it because i use it when i dye my hair at home and then it's got some games and then these clothes are all clothes that are like 
in about a month's time I'll be able to fit in because I'm just a little bit a little bit chubby for them at the moment but they are like realistically I can fit in them also I'm in luteal phase so I know I'm like really bloated but you know we just we just do that do we just do our best shoes I don't normally have I don't know where <laughs> you should find the other shoes downstairs don't normally have those up here um but I'm doing a few like little lookbooks things for myself just because I have some clothes and things that I just want to style out a little bit and have a play around with um this came off of the lavender but I thought it looked cute on there so it's more oils and then I've got yoga bits and blocks and things around there another one of those black bags and then yeah and then I have various bits on here um I do need to go through the makeup one just because again it's just got stuff I put all my bags in this one now could do a relabeling might use the flamingo like paper to use to do some cute squares I don't know this is all from like autumn time hence the the leaves this is my stackable jewelry box it's also where I keep fake nails and things as well pill box this I know is a hot mess um <laughs> what I might do for this is like work out maybe have a little look on Pinterest and just get some ideas but to be honest I just needed it like off of the floor so I have obviously some sweaters and I know it's June but like and it's a gorgeous day today but like England is just so you just never know like it's just so on and off so it's really frustrating because you can't put everything away for the summer so anyway I've got a photo book that I love and I love this pink I've got hair ties and bits I do have this lovely little set that um my boyfriend's mum got me for Christmas um I love the bag and I just thought it was really cute in summary so I was going to give it its own like little nook but I didn't really have space to do that so it's there <laughs> um and again like these I just think they could look cuter they could probably look a bit better um but yeah I love these I just love the colorful like sweaters um and it's just like nice and easy for them to grab plus I just do not have the drawer space and it's too low in here for a wardrobe so I mean you could put one here but to be honest it would just be it would just be really awkward so yeah and then last but not least these are all products I like need to be used up um like this is nearly empty this is nearly empty this um this one this has still got a fair bit in it this one is this one this one's amazing and I use it every day so I'm just having it out so I have it and this I just thought it was cute because it was, had a flamingo on it and this one as well so um got some rose quartz <laughs> my label still um maybe it's upside down but anyway this I got at a charity shop and I just love I not often put jewelry in it or a measuring tape and then these bits again these oils are all nearly finished um there's a few paracetamol and hay fever bits just because it feels weird putting them in there because I don't need them every day but again luteal phase these bits I really like and use often had the idea to put my hairbrush in here and I think it's kind of genius um also found a makeup cleaner sponge thing the other day for 37p so I can give them a clean and then these bits to be honest they're here because they're all pink um and yeah I think if anyone's got any more aesthetic ideas I mean I could put I've got quite a few of these that fold up I could put the pink thing I could put that in one of these I mean I've got three um and I could put all the products that need to be used in there but sometimes if I don't see them I kind of forget to use them so it's sort of that like outside out of mind but also if everything's out then you don't really see anything so that's kind of the quandary of that more flamingos and this is a dress I will be soon to be fitting into obviously this is part of the dress <laughs> and then this is just some cute like a nice necklace I really like um it gives me summer vibes so I just thought it'd be fun to put it on my door yeah but that's it that's my kind of whistle stop I know I'm speaking really fast it's just because I know my friend's gonna be like you don't have any space any second now but any ideas to make it even better I am all ears